everyone, and welcome to Scrap Mechanic. In this video, I will be showing how to make it look slightly better. If you look closely at the trees first, you can see there's a little bit more color, they're a little bit sharper, but there's still a little bit of depth of field. And then the shadows on the warthog and the lift just become more defined, better, you can see like all the different individual angles and everything better. It just looks sharper and better to me. By doing uh, the mod I use to do this is Reshade. It is a um, post-processing injector wrapper. Not sure. Either way, it goes into any game, anything that runs Direct to X, basically anything I think depending on the version you get, and maybe even OpenGL or Vulkan, but either way, it injects other post-processing. Hopefully you can see this window. I think you can. <clears throat> but as you can see, I have Adaptive Sharpen, uh, SSEO, I think that is, Screen Space, yeah, Directional Occlusion, so I think that gives me a bit of a reflection, which I completely forgot to mention. I'll show that in a second. I'm using, or no, that's the um the shading reflective bump mapping is slight reflection that i have going and then i thought i had something else but i can't remember maybe not oh the clarity i think that just helps sharpen it and that's all i have going right now and that's how i get this look as you can see if i look like over here Do, do, do. Yeah, over to these lights, just look down a little bit. You can see there's a slight reflection on the metal now. I kept that setting ever so, like, as low as I could pretty much to get a minimal effect because it does ever so slightly affect the wood. You can kind of see there, there's a bit of a reflection on it. And it affects the menus and stuff, but. Either way, it's a nice little effect to have. You can especially see it with that, it's really shiny. Um, either way, let's get into how to actually do it. So, really quickly, because I don't want to have to reload the game and it be annoying. At the end, once it's installed, actually, yeah, I'll just do this after, whatever. I'll be right back. Okay, we are here on my desktop. The first place you will want to go is to reshade.me and scroll down, or at the top, download, scroll down, and download the latest version. Oopsies, I might have just opened iTunes by accident, like I usually do. Either way, here we go, reshade is in my downloads. And then for, yeah I did. And then for scrap mechanic, You'll want to go into your Steam directory. For me, it's on my D drive. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Scrap Mechanic, Release. And then that's where your EXE and all that special stuff is. You'll want to put Reshade Setup into here, like mine is right there. And then take the, um, the preset, if you want, my preset, also put it into this directory. I'll have a download for that in the description. And then what you're going to want to do is run setup. Lists all the games, pretty much everything you have installed, anything that it could be installed. And then I'm going to search for scrap mechanic. Uh, do, do, do. We want the normal scrap mechanic.exe. And then I believe we want 10, 11, or 12, which is the default that is selected. And I've already done this, so you're just going to want to do normal install. Um, update to the version from this tool and download. Uh, I'm going to ignore this, but just install, finish, and then when it's done, you're going to want to go back into the game, and I'll meet you there. Okay. Hopefully I managed to get it recording in time, but as you could see, there was a bar at the top that mentioned loading. Um, at the Axolot 
splash screen if you see that bar or at any point you see that bar and it's taking a long time to load just be patient it could take a couple minutes the more you load it it seems like the less it takes to run either way once we get to the main menu i believe the normal button to open it should be home i'm not sure but that should open the main window make sure you guys can see that again yep and then up here, you want to go reshade preset. That is there. We're going to load mine, which is there. And that should load all of my settings, which will then make your home screen look like that. You can see just a bit better look, better colors, better shading. It just looks a little bit better. And then if you look over at the menu options, you can see what I mean about the menu looking different and weird is they go kind of transparent. It's just a little weird. You can see the tree behind it. So some things go a little weird, but overall it looks a lot better. So from here on, just go through this menu, oh, that menu, <laughs> and play through the settings and see how you like it. Um, Honcho Boots tried this out and got some screenshots in Scrap Mechanic and they look incredible. They are on my Discord, which I will also put in the description. But either way, I hope this works. This is the process I, I uh, follow every time and it works for me. If it doesn't work, I just basically redo the process and it eventually works. So. Or, um, try Sweet FX. It might have some stuff that works too. But either way, Reshade, it's amazing. I've used it in Mafia, there's tons of games. But either way, I hope it works. I hope you enjoy it. And thanks for watching.